Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project online vegetable store and uh, I have developed this project in Java JSP and MySQL for uh, uh, Java version I am using is the 1.8 and the MySQL version I am using is 5.6 for connecting the Java and the MySQL I am using the MySQL connector uh, MySQL J connector which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website and for front-end part, I am using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript, some of the jQuery library for giving some good effects in the project, just like integration of the form validations and the date uh, pop-ups. I, I am using the jQuery plugin. Also, this is the small bootstrap theme, means this is not a fully responsive. This is a partial responsive bootstrap theme. Okay, means the screens will be adjusted according to your uh, device size. Means if you will open this project in mobile, then it will the screen will be shrinked according to the mobile. And if you open this project in the tab, then the screen will be shrinked according to the tab. <coughs> right. Uh, also, if you are using the NetBeans and the Eclipse, then there will be some changes in the project, and this project will easily run on the Eclipse and the uh netbeans also <laughs> right so let's start with the functionality so the project title is online vegetable store it's a mini project with customer functionality only and there is no admin functionality inside the project that's why it's a mini project so all the operations will be performed by the ad uh, sorry customer okay there is no admin in the, this project so let's start this is the home page of the project so all the items which you are seeing on the home page is coming from the database means there are 12 items available in the database if you want to add more then you can add the data add the uh, uh, <coughs> products or vegetable uh, inside the database and those products will be rendered here right okay <coughs> sorry so if you click on the <coughs> vegetable any of the product then it will be displayed on the home uh, on the details of that product will be displayed so as you are seeing then uh, all the uh, items if you click on the uh, product then all the items will be displayed uh, sorry the details of that product will be displayed okay this is the about section this is a static page and uh, on this page nothing will be rendered uh, from the database so if you want to change the content then you can change it from the html file this is the all vegetable section with some of the filters Right, so if you click on the filters, then it will be uh, item will be listed according to the <coughs> filter uh, according to the category. Right, so as you are seeing, I am clicking on the items, and those items details is listing here. The same thing is available here also, so by category. So if you click on the items, then uh, the items will be displayed here. Right, so this is the register. Right, so if you don't have the account so there is a restriction in the project if you don't have the account then you will not be able to make the payment you will not be able to uh, buy any of the vegetables so for that you must have the login user id and password for making the payment and for uh, buying any of the vegetable so this is the registration page this is the login page from where customer will be able to log in and this is the contact us page. I am not saving the data of the contact us page anywhere in the database. So it's a static type of page. Okay. So now I'm going to buy some of the vegetables. So this is the apple. Right. So one kg and add to cart. So this is the cart. So get two items inside the cart. And there are 40. Now 450 rupees. <coughs> and uh, I am going to buy a brinzel. One kg. Right. So there are three items okay if you want to delete any of the item then you can delete it from here so the items will be deleted right so if you want to add more than onion uh, i want it 2 kg right then you can see the onion i need 2 kg and the items is 100 rupees right proceed to checkout so once you click on the proceed to checkout the system will ask for your credential right so the credential is amit at gmail.com and password is test so after that what is the shipping address means where the item will be shipped so anything you can uh, add right anything like that and if you click on the proceed to payment this is the simple payment uh, page no 
real transaction will be done from here so there is no need to enter your correct credit card details right so i am entering a fake details here like any i think right and uh, CV number and you are going to pay this one and you will not be able to modify this amount and just click on the make payment so once you click on the make payment it will say that okay the order time uh, number is 18 and order details are below this one right the total amount you need to pay is the 340 rupees you paid right so this is all about this is the flow okay so what the flow is you will uh, check the list and after that you will uh, check the details of the product and vegetables you will uh, add the add that products to the cart and after that uh, you can add more and more items into the cart and after that you will need to uh, enter the shipping address and make the payment and your order will be ready so this is the full project flow okay one more thing i want to show you so currently the above menu is different so it's a totally session driven menu so if you log in inside the system the above menu will be changed according to your login right so this is the about us and dashboard section so here dashboard section shows the things which you can perform and you can see your past order history right so this order history i made today on first of may right and if you click on the view items the details will be displayed there is a my account section from where you will be able to update your account details right again the my orders and my account section is also here which is displaying here right so this is all about the project the online vegetable store and i i had already uh, updated you that this is a mini project or it's not a major project right so if you need more major project of this one then it's also available my youtube channel and the website you can go through it and it has the admin and the uh, customer both of the functionality means admin can manage each and everything customer will be able to make the order and admin will be able to add the products update the stocks also and see all of the customer orders so these will be functionality will be there inside the major project with the admin and log, uh, customer functionality <coughs> okay so if you need more enhancement in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will uh, make this project more better and better according to your requirements so thanks for watching the video thank you very much